With the power of Jojo Joestar. Dick pic. Uh, yes, thank you for this jerk-off content. I wish you was naked, though. Can you give me more jerk-off content, babe? I'm scared he's gonna send me, like, a Google Doc that has, like, a 10-step plan to murder me. I'm Gabby. I'm Sabrina. And I'm Sam. And this is... Deranged DMs! DMs. Welcome to Deranged DMs, where we expose the DMs that you send, creators, because what the f*** is wrong with you? And today we're joined by none other than the lovely Sam Temple! Woo! You might recognize her from the H3H3 podcast and the face of Texas Toast. Sam Temple. That is true. I do love Texas toast. Well, this guy's about to become toast, am I right, ladies? We're gonna we're gonna toast these DMers. You got some weird ones, Sam. Yeah, Sam has some deranged shit in here. This one being on the screen first was such a jump scare because this one happened uh, a while back and I had to dig it up. So this is a Reddit comments slash post. Okay, so two comments from the same user. I do enjoy that both of these are very much downvoted. The community coming through. Yeah, this one, so I had a lot of DMs, but I was like, oh my God, but I have some Reddit comments that are gold that I have to throw in here for some honorable mention. Mouth yeah. made for deep throating. God, yeah. I want to nut in her in a red state so bad. This one, I really, really enjoyed the second one because <laughs> this was commented under the the first picture that I posted when my hair was dyed red. But when I read it, I was like, oh, they want to nut in me in like, I don't know, the state of Mississippi. I don't know. I wonder if it's like uh, trying to be silly on like abortion being taken away in a lot of red states. That's so what I was thinking. I was you. like, I was like, oh, they would like to nut in me somewhere where I do not have rights. I yeah. understand. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Wow. That's weird. We're, coming, we're starting strong. Yeah, and this is only the intro. There's a lot more. <laughs> this one I really liked because on Monday, March 20th, he says, hey, you know, you really seem to remind me of an overdue library book. Sunday, April 9th, because you got fine written all over you. I'm just wondering if he was really contemplating between March 20th and April 9th. I'm giving her some time to understand. Finally, April 9th, he's like, I'll help you out. Yeah, he's like, oh God, she's stupid. Oh, I'll help you get the joke. <laughs> well, you know how like the holidays are romantic and people get together? Maybe he thought, Easter, <gasps> this is how I get in. You know, he has risen. <laughs> Like, mm. that was Easter Sunday, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's like, dude is having lunch with grandma and he's trying to thirst text you. No, he's trying to do what God wants him to do. And God told him to message Sam because you got fine written all over. Oh! <laughs> ah. oh. With the power of Jojo Joestar. <gasps> Dick pic. <laughs> I think it's one of these. I think he's giving me a, a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Oh, that's nice. That's... He probably really likes your work. He's so supportive. It's funny because I was sitting at a Clippers game when I received this. I clicked on it and I just, I just tapped and I didn't even think about it. And I was like, that's a dick. My friend was with me and she was just kind of casually just looking over my shoulder. I looked at it and then I locked my phone and turned my phone over and she was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I didn't even realize she was looking at my phone. So we both saw the dick at the same time but I didn't know that she was looking. So it was a great moment. The people behind you probably saw it too. They probably got a good look. Yeah, sorry. If you're behind me at the Clippers game, <laughs> I am really sorry. I don't like that you can tell he's standing over a toilet. Like you're not even trying to make it look attractive. It looks like he still has boxers on too, but they're just like down a little. Men are seldom good at taking these. If I remember correctly, I think he had his boxers all the way down around his feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, they're getting dirty. Such a red flag. You know they piss but on the floor. I know they piss on the floor. And there was also a puddle of piss that he was standing in on the floor. Like actually? No, <laughs> but would you be shocked? Sabrina I, and I have talked about, we've gotten this same picture from this same account. Yeah, the same exact, around the same time. So he didn't even take a new picture. No! He was hitting the whole friend group. Right, he was like, this is a numbers game. One of them is bound to respond. He's like, oh, they're all gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it, all right. All right, this guy got restricted, it seems. You know, so this is just your standard. Anytime you, a woman, you know, posts a picture of themselves, it's just kind of, this is the vibe. Especially in that outfit. I'm literally couldn't be covering 
more skin. I mean, maybe perhaps my shoulder. Can't believe you're showing clavicle, Sam. Uh, yes, thank you for this jerk off content. I wish you was naked though. Can you give me more jerk off content, babe? Yes, more content like this. So they really liked this one where I'm also wearing long sleeves and- And pants and boots. Baggy pants. I could only imagine what this person is trying to be like in your comments, but thank God they're restricted. Yeah, this one I think I restricted for DMs, but I don't think that does anything for your DMs. No, I don't think it does. Yeah, I think it just tells you that they were restricted. I hate that for us. <laughs> this is from the same person. And what I realized is that they deleted the two before. I don't even know what they responded to to say nice little boobies OMG, telling me to take a Xanax in response to me posting someone's car that said she's everything, he's Ken. But yeah, nice little boobies, OMG. OMG. I wanna like preemptively block this account. These are all really uh, great moments to block all of these yeah. accounts in advance. This one I really love, um, pussy pierced? That clit, oh. deaf pierced, who ruined your sex life? Sam a little freak, OMFG is Ian? And then it pierced. I'm wondering, it pierced? I wonder, are they asking me a question or are they confirming it? it's pierced? I think it's a statement, like in their own mind, they've convinced themselves because they asked earlier if it was pierced. And then he has like a little character moment where he goes, that clit deaf pierced. Do I give pierced clit energy? No, I think this is a case of Schrodinger's uh, piercing where it both is and isn't pierced, but to them it is pierced because he will never find out. Maybe he's hoping that you'll reply to prove it to him like, no, it's not. Right? No, it isn't. Look. Here's No, proof. it's not. Look. <laughs> there's big dick energy and there's pierced clit energy. <laughs> What did he say in the first message of, um, who ruined your sex life? What do those phrases have to do with the other? Is it an insult? I don't know. But then it seems like you, they, or they're thirsting for you. Maybe they think I have a humiliation kink. Like, oh, you're a little freak, aren't you? Oh, you're a little freak, it pierced. Yeah. I love this comment because it made me laugh and I didn't feel weird when I opened it, but absolute dumpy. Love to take a big whiff. Hope Ian pounding that stinky butthole every night. <laughs> I do like the little comedic phrases yeah, they added to yeah. it. Yeah, see, they were a little creative. At least, you know, it wasn't an unsolicited dick pic, so I, you know. The bar is in hell. The bar is literally in the core of the earth, yeah. Love to take a big whiff, exclamation point. Hope Ian pounding that stinky butthole. That pooper. <laughs> Not the pooper. <laughs> Speaking of poopers, oh, speaking yeah. Speaking of shit. Uh, this was a Reddit comment. Anyone else get hard when she said she was an IBS queen? I imagined her taking a shit on my face and it got me so turned on. After her new hair color, she's all I can think about. Ian, bro, never take her for granted. I'm glad that IBS turns someone on. All hot girls have IBS. No, it's literally, it's a requirement. If you are cute, you have IBS. Sorry, True. you don't make the rules. This person is on a crusade. Every single time I post a picture of, of my TV screen, I'm playing a game or watching something, they must tell me my TV is too high. It's not. No, it's literally so normal and fine. I don't understand like TV too high and it's always TV too high. Not, oh, your TV might be a touch too high. No, it's TV too high. The other DMs I, uh, I think they're in vanish mode or something, but there, there's there been like 10 other ones, but this is the most recent one. Of the same, TV too high. Yes, this account telling me TV too high. Is it in hopes you'll reply or do they just wanna, they just wanna feel something that day? Cause this is, I don't know if this is even deranged. This is just, it's deranged how dedicated they are to it. Are they trying to help me? Or are they trying to, I'm just not, I don't know. Okay, so this one's a journey. Upload feet pics already. They replied to not a photo of your feet. No, it was me reposting some Someone uh, bought something from my store and I reposted it because I thought it was sweet and it's upload feet pics already. Shut up about your stupid art, you bitch. Just upload some feet. Fuck your dreams. Yeah. This second one was me talking about how I fainted in the pit at a Brooks and Dunn concert at Stagecoach and Libs couldn't survive the pit. So true. <laughs> they really hate my artwork, which like, I didn't make, you know, whatever, I don't care. Uh, your art is so restarted, but you're so hot. God, you'd be so hot if you weren't so stupid and depressed. Why the fuck would you make art, you dummy? Just 
post feet pics already. Every single sentence. Like, there wasn't even, like, a funny redeeming, like, oh, at least I got a laugh out of this. No, just- At least he said pooper and dumpy. I like dumpy, man. Bring him back. I don't understand this, like, love-hate relationship. Like, hate fucking hates your art, but you're so hot. I think those are all the words electric that chair. are appropriate for this one. Electric chair. This one, I, this is just, I get this cold DM all the time. Will you make a OnlyFans? At least he's not demanding. He's asking. This one, not, not super deranged because they're asking me nicely. They are. They're not like, just start an OnlyFans already and upload your feet. Just show me your feet already, you wench. <laughs> <laughs> you wench. <laughs> This one is awesome because I love the, uh, just what's your phone number? Ah! I don't give them my phone number. Then they call me multiple times and this person has called me more since I took this screenshot. No! Oh dear. I don't know who this person is at all, but I do like them just being like, what's your phone number? Shoot your shot, you know? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I, I could have just given them my phone number, you know? They went for it many times. They went for it and they continued to go for it. The accidental call on your profile, like maybe they were just scrolling in, oops, accidentally called her, but the fact that they keep doing it. You need to show them that Ludwig video, that um, I am not your friend video. What? You don't know about that? No. Ludwig uploaded this video about parasocial relationships called I am not your friend, where he explains to his viewers that they should not be parasocial with him. He wants people to treat his channel like it's entertainment and that's it. I respect that's it. That's awesome. Yeah, so basically Ludwig and I are best friends and I don't know why he's not answering my Instagram calls. Do you guys have any insight on why he might be doing that? I think you should just call more. <laughs> Keep calling. I think maybe eventually he'll pick up. Mm -hmm. If I send him something like intimate and caring, he'll understand how serious I am about this friendship. Send a pierced yeah. clip pic. Oh. <laughs> pierced clip. Clip pics. Okay, so now we have a couple of Sabrinas to go through. So this person is asking you nicely on Instagram. Hello, I love your page. Can I share something with you, please? I don't know what it is, or maybe I've seen too many Lifetime movies, but this one comes off as ominous to me. They never sent anything else. Could be something as innocent as like his art or their art or something. I don't, I feel like it's going to go in like the um, Bitcoin direction. Oh. Cause to me, this just seems like a fan that might not just realize they can just send it to you and maybe be like, can I share like my fan art with you? Or I'm scared he's gonna send me like a Google Doc that has like a 10 step plan to murder me. I get messages like this and it's usually like, I like saying I love your page is weird. And then can I share something with you? And then what they're gonna share with you is like their profits over the last six months sh exchanging like foreign currency. And then they're like, are you interested? I think it's more likely that it's fan art than it is a 10 step plan to kill you. I'm responding. So I hope you're right, Gabby. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, their bio just says one word, enthusiast. I'm responding. I said yes. Okay. okay. Oh, please All right. keep us the posted. Plot thickens. Last one. Got a photo of <laughs> Eva. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's not Eva. No. That's Eva at home. We have Eva yeah. at home. <laughs> there have been, I think at least once or twice now where I posted something at my story and it's like, we have this at home and it makes me laugh so much every time. I was at Gabby's last month and I was putting on my crotch guard where it like kind of hikes up your cheeks and I took a picture of it. And Sam, you responded to it and you said, we have BBLs at home. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> I have so this dog, I cannot tell the scale of this dog. <laughs> right, I was confused because I thought it was Ava sized and then I zoomed in and I was like, that's not Ava. Like it looks like it could be Ava size, right? But it also looks like it could be a full grown like <coughs> yellow lab. I'm trying to judge by the, the picture frame in the background doesn't help at all because I'm like, is it a little picture or is it like a huge picture? And the collar, the little thing right here is so big on him. Will you respond and say, how big is that dog? How big is that? dog. <laughs> I think they'll be pleased to get a reply from this. Yeah, like I'm truly, I'm trying to put the pieces together. I, I don't know how big the dog is. We'll find out next time on Deranged DMs. <laughs> Thank you, Sam, for joining us today. Of course, this was so fun. Thank you guys for having me. Sam, tell the people where to find you. You can find me on Instagram at Sam Temple. It's S-A-M-T-E-M-P-1-E. And 
on TikTok at the same username and on Twitter at the same username. Thank you for joining us on Deranged DMs and make sure to listen to our podcast, which is this, but audio form and on Instagram at Deranged DMs. Yeah, because sometimes you're driving and that's okay. So let us know in the comments if you like today's episode. And also let us know who else you would like to see on Deranged DMs. And if we like them, we will reach out. And if we don't, we won't. Okay, Bye. bye.